Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazarov's chess channel and welcome to my hyper accelerated rank Sicilian defense series. So I'm going to continue with this very aggressive opening uh, against e4 and today I wanted to show one of my games. I'm showing you this game because I think it's really good because in this game I didn't make any mistakes and uh, it's really a clear line for you to memorize if your opponent tries tries this immediately uh, bishop ex uh, bishop trade in the middle game so i'll show you this line and uh, this uh, this is really an important one for you to see uh, as i said uh, this uh, this line i played without mistakes i made a couple of inaccuracies but uh, in one particular moment my opponent was lost anyway, so uh, I didn't play maybe the best moves But of course I was winning and, and at one point of, of the game. So I'll show you of course uh, This critical moment. So let's see now again this hyper accelerated rank Sicilian defense e4 c5 uh, Knight on f3 g6. So now we have d4 c takes d4 uh, Knight takes on d4 bishop on g7 knight on c3 knight on uh, c6 bishop to e3 and now knight on f6 so again i'm pointing you out we are not playing this move d6 i'm always repeating in this series don't play this move d6 our goal is to play the move d5 and to break immediately in the center so we have here queen to d2 by my opponent now i've castled and now he plays f3 and of course he's trying to go in this Yugoslav attack with queenside castle, then again h4, h5, uh, h6, and similar ideas. Try to, of course, uh, trade the bishops here on h6 and creating mating threats on the h file. That's the main goal in the Yugoslav attack, and as, as I said, uh, this Yugoslav attack is really the best the best opening uh, line for you if we have played of course the the common dragon sicilian uh, with this d6 but of course we see with this hyper hyper accelerated dragon we didn't play that and of course it's hard uh, and it's basically impossible for white to go in in this yugoslav attack so now played of course d5 so now we have um, we have a breakthrough in the center and it meets with this uh, basic principle in chess when your opponent has the king in the center you should break somehow in the center try to open files try to open diagonals so when the king is not secured and it's one of the most known uh, best known uh, um, chess principles and of course you have to you have to know this uh, and uh, of course i played here d5 and my opponent uh, took here e takes d5 knight takes on d5 and now my opponent takes knight on c6 b takes c6 of course and uh, this is now a problem you see if my opponent now castles here queen side i have here a very nice move rook on b8 which can which can really open opens uh, this b file and uh, with our, with this bishop and with this knight aiming on the square c3 it's really uh, it's really already a, a nice attack on on this castle king and white is not gonna uh, castle into black's attack of course so uh, here my opponent tried this uh, bishop to d4 and this is the line that i wanted to show you this bishop to d4 line this is uh, an important uh, uh, thing for you to see be because it's basically a mistake by white it might seem to you that uh, this is good of course uh, white can try maybe here after queen takes on d4 his common attack with h h4 h5 and uh, the problem is that i have, don't have also this knight on f6 which which is protecting the h7 but as i said this bishop to d4 is basically a mistake here you can you punish your opponent with the move e5. Now my opponent plays, of course, bishop on c5, which is again a mistake because you have this knight on c3. And now uh, if the uh, queen takes here the bishop, uh, the knight on c3, you have this immediately move e4. So uh, it's um, already attacking this queen the queen doesn't have good squares if it if the queen goes here on uh, d2 then we have uh, queen takes on d2 king takes on d2 rook on d8 uh, now the king has to go here uh, on the e file if uh, if the king goes here maybe on uh, on c c1 it's basically checkmate it's unavoidable because we have bishop on h6 
of course white can try maybe here f4 uh, but of course then of course bishop to e3 just put something in between but uh, again it's checkmate so after knight on c3 now uh, my opponent uh, took here uh, the bishop uh, the rook on f8 but uh, here i took uh, with the queen on f8 and now uh, again with the same problems so now if my opponent uh, would have taken here with with the b pawn uh, again um, i have a really nice attack with um, bishop on h6 uh, so bishop to h6 leads maybe maybe the queen can go here on d1 but uh, then i have bishop uh, to e6 queen to c5 and preventing uh, black here uh, white here really from castling we have the simple target here on c3 which which is hard to attack uh, to defend so maybe if, after queen to c5 i see no uh, clear line how uh white should um, defend himself here he can maybe play here bishop on d3 but then we have immediately maybe uh bishop to e6 and then try here rook on on d8 and maybe do some pinning here again with the simple attack on c3 you see uh white cannot castle here uh because uh, the queen is covering this g g1 square and basically uh white will continue the game with without playing uh playing without this rook uh we are basically playing with one piece up so it's hard for white to bring this rook into the game and uh, this is uh, of course a winning game for black so my opponent um after uh queen takes on f8 he took here uh, with the queen on c3 and of course now i have again this move e4 my opponent took this uh, c6 but i really didn't care because i played here queen to b4 um, again with an attack on the king if uh, uh, if my opponent plays maybe something like c3 then i can again simply uh, simply att attack the rook here and if my opponent takes uh, here the rook uh, on a8 it's uh, mate mate in uh, two so we have here bishop on uh, c uh, c3 uh, there's one square only for the king uh, and we have of course here queen to d d2 checkmate so um, you see this queen to c6 uh, is also not so good after i've played uh, Queen on b4, my opponent played here uh, king on f2, and now of course I played uh, here uh, the queen on d2, uh, now my opponent uh, put the bishop here on um, on uh, e2, and now I have the simple idea here uh, to creating a checkmate on, on dark squares, uh, bishop on d4, uh, my opponent played here uh king on g3 and here was checkmate in one so if uh, my opponent plays here maybe uh moves this um king on f1 then i can again threatening checkmate so white is basically forced to play the move uh king on e1 but then again i can play maybe um, bishop to b7 which is attacking immediately the queen so the queen is forced to take here the uh, the bishop on uh, on b7 so we have here queen to f2 the king has to go here on, again on uh, on the d file then we have rook to d8 again and we're creating here this deadly discovered attack here with this rook there's no way to prevent it maybe with moves here um f takes e4 but then again you have here bishop takes on b2 with this double attack and we can also uh, then after take the rook uh, white has really the start with problems around the skin so of course this is also a good line good line for black uh so as i said uh, i really uh, wanted you to memorize uh here this line after knight takes on c6 b takes c6 and if your opponent plays here uh bishop bishop on d4 it's really not a good uh not a good line you have this e5 uh, you it's um it's really uh, an advantage for black here already in this early stage of the game so i hope you enjoyed this video more hyper accelerated um, 
uh, during the Sicilian defense will come also of course in the future and meanwhile you can also watch all of my previous uh, hyper accelerated Dragon Sicilian videos and you can also watch my King's Indian videos if you have problems to play against D4 and of, of course guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching chess is the best